been up to? I've been riding on a daydream. Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out RV Daydream. And we're out at West Branch Campground and we're expecting a little bit of wind today. So I'm going to show you what we've had for a while now in a package and we've never had any opportunity or need to use it. What this is, is a Camco RV awning anchor kit. What you get in here is a uh, couple of augers that you'd actually screw down into the ground. And they're spring loaded, so it's not a direct tension to the awning. There is some give to it. And then of course a couple straps. And that obviously goes around the roller tube on the awning and then goes down into the uh, ground and secures your awning from lifting. You know, it doesn't make a difference what you do because that awning is a sail. So if there's a lot of wind, it's going to eventually catch and nothing's going to stop it. Um, even if you could secure your awning solid to the ground, what happens is then the awning tears. Uh, so you're, you're kind of in a catch 22 there, but whenever you've got moderate winds, um, and I'm talking about something that's a little bit above maybe 10 mile per hour winds, uh, this will do okay. Now, whenever you get into gusts that are into the 20 to 30 mile per hour range, it's best just to take your awning in. If you think that you might experience some wind uh, while you're away, definitely put your awning away. Uh, don't bother with it, but let's go ahead and open this up. I'm gonna secure it to the uh, awning and we're gonna see what it looks like. I'm going to tell you right off the bat that there's no way that you're going to resave this box <laughs> that it comes in. Um, I tried to, but best to just rip it open. Looks like that it wants to stay glued on the edges. That's what the deal is. Okay, here's some heavy duty augers. They put some protective caps on the ends, which I guess that's just for packaging, maybe handling. Because this isn't overly sharp. Not sure why they do that, but they did. So we get a couple augers. Let's go ahead and put those down there. And let's see what else comes out next. All right, so we got a couple straps. Pretty straightforward there couple big springs and a couple of uh, cam buckles for the straps. There's the uh, one, there's two, and then another spring. Now as far as the instructions go, they're um, printed on the package and they're pretty straightforward. I'll go ahead and uh, give you a shot of these so you can see what these look like. What they're showing is you take the uh, strap it's not anything to speak of really as far as the way it's designed and it goes around the roller tube and then hooks into itself it has a real small hook to it so you can see here how it works there's just a latch and it's free moving and you just kind of hook into it which i'm going to try to do this with one hand and then it cinches against the roller tube. Well, that's that's kind of nice, that's pretty easy. Of course, then the other end of the strap will connect to one of those cam buckle straps that's hooked to the spring, that's hooked to the auger, that's hooked to the leg bone, that's hooked to the ankle bone. <laughs> Let's go ahead and uh, set that up. Now I would suspect that this is probably the hardest part because like in this case, um, we're in a uh, area that's heavily rooted so I'm not sure how well this would work, but let's go ahead and try it anyways. Get it started here. Well, it's actually going in quite easily at this point. Famous last words, huh? Now, if you wanted to for leverage, if you're having a problem putting it in the ground, you could use your snap-up bar uh, that's for doing your weight distribution. So now, once that's in, um, you just put the uh, spring on. There's definitely two different ends to the spring. On one end, it's completely closed. Use that end. 
on the hook part, the auger part, and this end has a small opening so you can put the strap on. So we'll go ahead and put that in here. And now we're set as far as the ground is concerned. And you can see the spring tension, what it does there. And then it's just a matter of putting in the uh, strap. Of course, you want to keep it as straight as possible. Don't twist it around too much. Once you have the strap entering through the back and underneath the cam, and you depress this that says press, and feed it up through the front like I'm showing you here then it's ready to cinch tight now we'll just give it a little tension here and you can see that's it it's secure and it's holding the awning now as far as some sort of a give it will eventually give now of course this part of the strap you want to protect it as much as possible um, you can uh, ball it up wind it up whatever put a rubber band on it um, to keep it up out of the, the dirt and the debris which um, that's definitely what I'll do because I don't want any of this strap to be compromised because at some point we might have to use that whenever the ground isn't quite the level that it's at right now. So now let's go ahead and do the other side. Uh, I won't show that on camera and at that point I'll try to lift up on this and see how much tension it'll take to, to move those springs, which I don't think that I'm going to be able to do it. Now, as I suspect, I'm probably not going to be able to do much lifting on this, but we'll go ahead and try. And you can see the springs are pulling that right back down again. So we got some movement in the awning, but I can't lift it any more than that. This is going to do a pretty good job. I think that uh, this is a hit. So what I'm going to do is put the link down below, obviously, as I do most of my products, and click the link it'll take you right to this kit you can follow these exact same instructions and it will show you exactly on the package um, how to do what I just did and quite honestly I feel pretty confident that the wind should be able to be kept in check today um, but a little bit later we're gonna have some storms come through uh, probably after midnight so tomorrow um, the awning will go in because it only makes sense to tell you the truth so although this should hold for moderate winds, I'm sure that we're gonna run into a situation where these aren't the trick. Again, because the awning itself is a sail and it can easily tear no matter how you secure this. I mean, somebody could come out here and weld up a complete frame to hold it to the ground and hold it to the RV. However, the awning material can't handle it. So that's it guys, and I hope this helped out. Again, if you like this product, click the link down below and it'll take you right to it. Thanks for watching.